I decided to uh, make another video for you guys so that you can have a better idea about uh, how to enter data into SPSS and the process that is involved in analyzing your research paper. So basically what you have to do is before starting your research uh, you have to find a strong topic for your research and you have to make sure that you have the right uh, questionnaire or research tool that is available for your data collection because often students face this problem that they find a very good topic but they are unable to find a proper research instrument or a questionnaire that would help them to properly analyze their data. So in this case the topic that I have chosen for this uh, paper is uh, the impact of anticipated uh, regret, risk aversion and marketing strategies on the university students buying behavior. So what we are trying to do is to check the impact of these three independent variables anticipated regret that means probably if somebody buys something then they will be regretting uh, using that particular product that they have purchased. So this is mostly uh, something that happens to most of us when we buy something just for the sake of buying it and not probably using it then later on we might regret it. So sometimes that has an impact on your decision making. Risk aversion is the uh, process of trying to avoid buying something very expensive and making sure that it would fulfill all our requirements and not uh, involving in too much risk while buying that particular product and being careful with our purchases. Similarly, what is the impact of different marketing strategies like advertisement, personal selling, uh, billboards, flyers and all those things that are adopted by companies for the sake of attracting the uh, customers. In this case, we are trying to assess the behavior of students. So these three variables would become our independent variables while the university students buying behavior. Buying behavior is dependent on these three independent variables. So you can see the questionnaire and your main topic gives you a good idea about the number of variables that you have and the process that would be uh, adopted for the sake of analyzing your data. Now when we move on to the questionnaire, uh, what you have to see is you may ask general questions like the name, the gender of the participants that are participating in your research process and their age, uh, to which age group they belong. And further, normally questionnaires are developed using a Likert scale that depends on five point scale uh, pro that starts with the strongly disagree uh, at number one, disagree at number two, neutral at three, uh, agree at four and strongly agree at five. So what you do is when you have a questionnaire like this, either somebody else has uh, made such questionnaires for their research papers which you may adopt or sometimes you may develop your own questionnaire but you have to check the reliability of that questionnaire on SPSS. So if you can see that uh, there are some questions related to each variable, these questions are related to anticipated regret. So after uh, analyzing such uh, important things uh, at the first glance, you will have a better idea of the steps that we are going to take throughout this process. So this is going to be helpful if you have a better idea at the things that I'm trying to explain to you. So there are five, six, almost five questions for anticipated regret. Uh, similarly, there are five questions for risk aversion. Uh, then there are five questions for marketing strategies. And lastly, there are four questions that uh, uh, comprise of the buying behavior of the students that are uh, being affected by all these different uh, variables that are uh, in their environment. So what we do is we go to the uh, data uh, um, uh, file and uh, we see uh, in SPSS what we have to do is we have to uh, put our questionnaire in the right order. So suppose we start with the age and we can uh, provide the values for age as given in the questionnaire over here. So what you do is uh, place one over here in the first box and uh, write down the value 22, 25 over here. And then when you press add, then these variables will be added. So this is the process of adding values. Similarly for gender, it is quite easy. You put one over here and male and then add it. Then similarly two over here and then write female over here and then add it. Then you press OK. The values are saved. Uh, again, if you see the questionnaire uh, question questions part, then you write the values one to five over here and uh, strongly disagree to strongly agree over here. Keep adding them. Once you have done that, then the process is quite easy. You have to just click Control Copy, Control C, 
and then paste it over here for the rest of the questions and uh, similarly you can paste all your questions over here by just uh, having one click you select all the questions from your questionnaire over here and you click ctrl c and just paste them over here in a proper order and then you will be able to see all your questions over here so the first two variables are nominal and the rest of them are scale because they are depending on that likert scale that we talked about a while ago and like this i have uh, given them codes for each question so this ar represents anticipated regret risk aversion uh, marketing strategies and buying behavior so you might notice that these questions are completed and there are total 21 questions along with the age and gender that is the demographic part we'll come to these uh, uh, new variables in a bit uh, these are the composite variables that i've made i have grouped each of these uh, variables all these questions into one particular variable and that is known as the process of transforming so when you come to the data view so the questionnaire data that you have collected based on your questionnaires you enter that uh, exactly like this and all of the data will be present in this order representing all the information that you have collected from your participants and this would be quite uh, useful and helpful for you uh, as you go ahead and analyze your data further so what you do is you go to the analyze and uh, then you go to scale and you are trying to see the reliability of your questionnaire so what you do is you select all the uh, questions so if you see the first age one was selected i just pressed shift and uh, then I click the last question and all of them are selected so now we put them in this side and uh, we make sure that we have selected the required uh, uh, information that we need in this case we want Cronbach alpha and we press ok and here is the test that this is the table that shows that there were 300 participants who have participated in the research and they were able to share their opinions and uh, the reliability statistic shows that it was 0.774% reliable normally we try to have 70% reliability or 50% in our case the questionnaires show that they are highly consistent uh, this reliability test is very important because it tells us that the questionnaire can be used in another similar setting or different even setting uh, in which case it will be leading up to uh, good results so this increases the reliability the credibility and the authenticity of your data and helps you to determine whether you should move ahead with your data or not so this is the first test that you conduct basically on this okay so for now i think i have given you a very nice overview of the process that is involved in this so how do we create the composite variables so what you have to do is you go to the transform um, uh, you click transform then you write down compute variable so what you do is i want to develop a composite variable that comprises of the first five questions that belong to uh, anticipated regret so what you do is you write down the code for it and uh, you start over here with the uh, brackets you open the brackets so you need to add each question one by one so there are total five questions so we keep pressing the add button and uh, adding the questions that relate to the first variable and in this manner in this way we get the five questions now we obviously need to get an average because if we add all the values then it will be exaggerated by a lot because they all have one to five point scales so normally they would lead up to like 25 so we need to get an average by dividing it by 5 and this is the way we get the um, we get the variable so i'll just code it differently because i've already taken it out so this is the way we compute another variable and we transform the data now we can see another variable has been generated and this is uh, representing the anticipated regret so similarly you can apply and repeat this uh, again and again for the rest of the variables and this could be helpful for your data analysis for now i would like to conclude this video um, and see you know, what kind of questions you guys have for me i'll basically actually upload these files um, related to this paper so you can practice along with me and uh, ask as many questions as you would like please subscribe to my channel because i'm new at this and I really need to complete my watch hours for YouTube to monetize my channel, which is quite important for me right now. So I would be very thankful if you could support me. 
uh, with regards to that thank you so much uh, for now uh, take care